Good morning, everybody. It's, uh, what's it? 20 past seven, it's Thursday morning, and unusually, I'm having a morning shave. As you know, most of my shaves are the previous night, but I uh, didn't get around to it last night. I don't know, oh, I don't know quite know why, but uh, I didn't. Okay, nice to see you, welcome along. British Soaps Month. Soaps and artisans. Right, as you can see from the label, a close shave isn't always a bad thing. Everything's under the lid on this one. And this is, they've got four different fragrances, four different soaps that I know of. And this one is Deadly Weapon. And it's said to replicate Hugo Boss. Uh, it contains bentonite clay, very good for the fair skin. And it is glycerin based. There's the soap. This one, obviously, orange, the uh, Hugo Boss. There's a, a, a jet black one. It looks like boot polish in the tin. It looks like a tin of kiwi or cherry blossom. There's a, a blue one. I can't remember what that was. I sent that to Mark Hutchinson, that friendship shaving. And I, I think the fourth one's green. So yeah, it's quite unique. <laughs> Lightly scented. Does smell a bit like Hugo Boss. Let's say three and a half to four. So that's what we're doing today. A bowl of it. I've used the uh, Yaki uh, Mysterious Space 24mm. There's a the lava in the bowl. And I've, I've saved already the bowl lava to save time on the video. Oh, razor. <laughs> razor. The Russian made, home like start, open comb. And in here, I've got an RK blade, RK blades of India. I don't have a tuck with me, so I couldn't include it in the uh, thumbnail. I'm a travelling shaver. So there we go. Oh, I'll just give you the uh, blade gap for this uh, open comb because from memory, right, the blade gap is 0 0.9, 0 0.90 is the blade gap on the motion made stainless steel, bone like star, three piece razor. So, unusually for me, I'm on an open comb today. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely getting a Hugo. Yeah, definitely getting a Hugo boss here. It's uh, yeah, there's nothing posh in here. It's like a lot of British soap makers, artisans, and this one is an artisan, incidentally. They're not uh, a mass producer. There isn't tons of uh, weird ingredients in it. It's glycerin based. It does feel a little thin, but. If you're straight razor shaving, this is a good soap because I know Dave Card has used this for his uh, Chevet shaves. Chevet shaves. And there we go. That will do me. Morning shave, I don't know when you're out. The mornings aren't long enough. So, let's, oh, as you can see from the bathroom, I'm still. See this bloody. <laughs> I'm in the uh, Devon Resort of Exmouth, still here. And I'm out on a, a day out into uh, Dawlish today to see the black swans. Yeah, black swans, jet black swans. Again, I'm a long way from the mirror. Right about, I was a right hairy beast. I was a right hairy beast this morning. I think I had uh, over 36 hours growth. Got a little imperfection there. Just under the skin. So I'm just taking a little extra care. Blade feels great. Razor feels great. This flushing home like start, it's one of those razors I had to, I had to grow on me first, I had to get used to it. 
That's why I never ever dismiss anything after only one or two shaves these days. There is some items you just have to persevere with and learn to master. I mean, it's not difficult, but uh, I don't know. It's like everything in life, isn't it? Some things just require a certain, just a slight uh, improvement, a, a change in style, technique, before they uh, reach the full potential. And for me, this razor was one of those things. Okay, blade, a very nice second use. That's why I don't have the tuck with me because the blade was already in the razor head before I left home. So it actually been in the razor since my last shave. Obviously, it had been out and cleaned. That's belting, belting. So after this shave, I've got to uh, face my morning porridge and honey. It was a, a sad event at this hotel yesterday. I uh, returned to the hotel and there was an ambulance outside. And uh, as I got closer to the hotel, it was a police car. So, uh, when you're in staying in a hotel and it's full of elderly people, that means one thing really. You know, some, some poor lady had uh, passed away in a room. Heart attack. Her husband and grandson, they were on holiday with her. They'd gone out for a walk. She didn't feel well. She didn't go on the uh, coach excursion. So uh, she stayed in the room and her uh, hubby and grandson went for a walk and left her. Clean it, went into the room, caught past three and heart attack. Just go to show, never underappreciate the people around you. Because you never know. Now for a cheap soap, five pound, five pound a tin. I found this soap by Googling it. I just put it into Google. A close shave isn't always a bad thing. It came off. Found it, no problems. Five pound a tin. So, it's a bargain. Pass number two. It's, it's a scent like uh, most. It doesn't feel like a lot of other shaving soaps. But that bends in equally, that really is. Good stuff for the skin. Lots of good stuff in this. Not the best of lavas, but it's good enough. Good enough. We like a soap collection, different things, different experiences. Give this a try. I found bowl lavering with this soap produces the best results. So I just uh, wet the brush, shook it out a few times, so it was reasonably dry, and uh, heavily loaded the brush straight into the uh, bowl. That's what I tend to do now with lava and bowls with agitators. I'd never scrape the soap and put it into the bowl. I load the brush. That way, you're not getting chunks of soap uh, getting stuck into the bowl. So you're lavering everything. Yeah, that's the way I much prefer to do things when I'm bowl lavering. You see that pimple shown through the lava there? Don't burst on me, you bugger. <laughs> Cracking work on the chin. Yeah. 
All right, all side. See the way I'm taking lots of short strokes of the Fraser? I don't know why, I just feel a need to. Who am I to argue with the need to? If you feel a need to, do it. Yeah, so although it's an open comb, you don't like start. Just going on a slickness, although it's open comb. It feels a very safe razor to use. Doesn't feel scary, threatening in any way. Well, as you can see there, I'm going over to shave on residual slickness with uh, relatively ease and calm. I just prefer the short little strokes of it. So the blade gaff, 90, 0 0.9. May sound a lot, but on this particular razor, it really isn't. Did I just go the wrong way then? It is, I did. Soon I'm ready that. There we go, and across. Listen to that. It's coming off like scraping burnt toast. Flying off. Just relax the neck a little to get into the hollow there. Technique I picked up from straight razor shaving by watching a Doug Bear. Sadly, Doug Bear hasn't uh, produced any content for a while. If you're interested in straight razor shaving and techniques, just look up, just search for Doug Bear. The barely normal wet shaver, that's his channel. The barely normal wet shaver. Excellent tips and advice for them. A bit of head. What time are we on? Right. Doing okay. Now unusually, <laughs> the third coat, the lava, has more density than it did on the first uh, two passes. So I haven't used this, this soap a great deal, but I think if we were to use it again, I would uh, probably lather it, leave it to rest for maybe 10 minutes, return to the uh, soap and then use it for shaving because see, this, the density on this third pass, it's, uh, <laughs> well it's much more dense than it was on the first two, put it that way. And uh, against the grain. How, how's everybody up anyway today? Uh, how are we all faring? Stubborn to get some of the uh, whiskers there, riding the cab. Wow, bottom. Listen to that. <laughs> oh, that's going to be his moustache with ease. I nearly shaved my lip then talking.
Yeah, I was talking on that top lip there and I just felt the blade hook under the lip. I got a bit messy. Thankfully it wasn't. Yeah, five hamlets in this uh, soul fellas. 140 grams. Well worth it. And it is a good shop. Shop? 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 So, to shape it. Yeah, it's that poor family. The elderly chap and grandson came on holiday with his wife and grandmother and going home without, without her. And it's very poignant, isn't it? It's, uh, you imagine his return home? It would be awful. Hmm. Gonna be uh, stunned for a while, I think. Well, I still don't think it's uh, sunk in for him. Doing a great job, it really is. You can see that imperfection now. It doesn't look bad. I think it'll soon be cured. And as you can see, the way I'm throwing this blade across the skin here, guys. There's no threat whatsoever. So even though it's an open comb, I might I having to do more work than I would do with, say, uh, the dart, the outlaw. I'm having to do a lot more buffing, take a, few, a lot more strokes. But so what? <laughs> Who cares? I'm enjoying myself. And we're nearly finished. Yes, that was quite a long shave, really. But uh, time to rinse, time to rinse. Yeah, nice. And there we have it. There we have it. How should I feel? Yeah. That bentonite clay, it does leave the skin feeling great after the shave. BBS all over. That is really smooth, really close on the neck. Got a cracking job. But as you see, the Russian home like start, open comb, looks aggressive. Sounds aggressive at 0.9 millimeters, but I assure you it's not. It's a really safe, uh, it is mild, uh, but efficient. But as you saw, I do have to do, did have to do a little bit more work to get there. Comes with three plates, uh, what was it, four? I can't rightly remember. But the highest plate, I do believe is 1.18 millimetre blade gap. That's on the uh, close comb safety bar. But even at that, it's, uh, it's still an easy razor to use. And that feels a tremendous, tremendous. Okay. Now, as I said, it's uh, a dupe of Hugo Boss. So I haven't used this in absolute ages. So today I'm going to wear with a semi-posh, a semi-posh aftershave on. I'm going to spray it on. Yeah. And that soap is definitely reminiscent of the Hugo Boss. So yeah, true to the word there, 
it definitely is a Hugo Boss dupe because I cannot tell the difference between the Hugo Boss aftershave and the scent on the soap. And that was a good one, that was a good one. Okay, quick recap and I'm out of here. Busy day ahead. Okay, British Soap Week. Uh, a close shave isn't always a bad thing. That was Deadly Weapon. There's the soap. Weird, weird, weird. Razor, all my start, open comb. 0.9mm blade gap in there. I had an arcade blade from India, second use. Cracking blade. Uh, brush for today was a 24mm Yorkie, mysterious space. That was whipped up in my stirring collapsible travel bowl. And as I was using, using, using a Hugo Boss uh, base soap, it was only right to go the Hugo Boss shave splash i think it's after shave anyway i don't know i've had it a long time okay guys thank you very much indeed thank you for watching thank you for joining me today have a great day ahead stay safe and i'll see you all further on the line guys bye bye now